Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As the world knows, the Syrian people have suffered terribly under the prolonged brutality of the Assad regime. On April 7th, the regime decided to again defy the norms of civilized people showing callous disregard for international law by using chemical weapons to murder women, children, and other innocents. We and our allies find these atrocities inexcusable. As our Commander-in-Chief, the President has the authority under Article II of the Constitution to use military force overseas to defend important United States national interests. The United States has vital national interests in averting a worsening catastrophe in Syria and specifically deterring the use and proliferation of chemical weapons. Last year, in response to a chemical weapons attack against civilians and to signal the regime to cease chemical weapons use, we targeted the military base from which the weapons were delivered. Earlier today, President Trump directed the U.S. military to conduct operations in consonance with our allies to destroy the Syrian regime's chemical weapons research development and production capability. Tonight, France, the United Kingdom, and the United States took decisive action to strike the Syrian chemical weapons infrastructure. Clearly, the Assad regime did not get the message last year. This time, our allies and we have struck harder. Together, we have sent a clear message to Assad and his murderous lieutenants that they should not perpetrate another chemical weapons attack for which they will be held accountable.